Does Van Gogh explores the issues surrounding fakes, forgeries, and counterfeits with specifics concerning the globalization of fake artworks. The focus of our exhibition is Dolphin and the works that come from it. Dolphin is, is in the Guangdong province in China. Around 1990, the town's main industry started producing oil painting. Specialized in old masters such as Rembrandt, Da Vinci, Dali, and specifically Van Gogh. In one sense, the paintings are original because they are made by hand. In another sense, they are not originals because the artists are copying from a photograph, not from the real oil painting. In order to learn any, uh, any technique, any skill, you have to learn from a master, you have to learn from an original. Um, and a lot of the originals paintings that uh, were done in whatever period that were done, they had, uh, they were in a studio and they had apprentices painting their paintings and copying their paintings. For Dolphin, this is also, um, this is also what they do. A large part of studying oil painting is seeing the textures up close in real life, so by copying a photograph of an oil painting, you're not really getting the original sense of a painting. One of the, the quotes in De Dauphin is, where, where art meets fortune. It's printed on the gates, as soon as you go into Dauphin. Part of the problem with Dolphin is that artists in the community are not producing art for art's sake. However, they are producing art for profit. Forgery is, for the most part, it's a, it's devalues the art, uh, devalues the material goods. However, uh, in some sense, it's if it's a really good forgery, such as the discus thrower from from Rome or Michelangelo's Cupid, who will otherwise lose these uh, these pieces of art lose part of the story. What we want the viewers to take away from our exhibition is the role in forgery in art. We want the viewer to be able to analyze the work themselves and decide whether or not the work is real or fake.